that I, I was male and Claire was female was clearly a major factor in the label because that, that was incredibly rare at the time. To have Claire there running the label as a 19-year-old female was, you know, was absolutely inspirational from my point of view. And I think for Claire it was, it was quite a struggle. She would get very annoyed quite rightly if an article was simply in terms of Matt Hayden's and his girlfriend Claire running the label. Or when people would ring up and clearly assume that if she answered the phone, she was some sort of secretary and wait to be passed over to me. I remember having a big row with a French, I think it was our French record label who were licensing our stuff, who'd taken out a big advert for a bunch of the stuff they licensed um, with basically a top, topless woman on it and us being right on the phone to complain, them to complain and them saying, well, I don't know what your problem is, no one else has complained and us kind of going, well, it's a real issue for us, you, you can't do this. Going back to the, the politics of being subtle, then one thing we, no, we never did is put pictures of women on record sleeves because that's such a, an obvious marketing device. And particularly, sadly, in the sort of indie music we were involved with, you would always get record sleeves with sexist chicks on Audrey Hepburn on the front, all these sort of very tired and obvious images. And we just made a rule right from the start that we would never have a woman on record sleeves. But, you know, we never, we never made a big deal of it, it's just what we did.